Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 10. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. All right, this is another time trial as well. I thought it was a race, but it's not. It's a time trial. The jigsaw. How far away is this then? This is a one mile event. 55 seconds. Okay. Crazy. Alright, here we go. Aston Martin. I just, I mean, I can't wish for anything for this game because it's finished. This is lifetime over. But, like, I wish they had to put, like, as well as the windows having, like, roof things. Even if the roof just disappeared. Turn left. Like, there was no actual moving Turn parts. Right. It just faded away. Like, some of the cars that do that in uh, TDU 2 do that. But if it just disappeared... I'd be fine with that. But uh, some of the cars just don't seem to have that in this game, so yeah. Oh my gosh, we're nearly at the end of this track. So short. Ten more seconds. But we're already there. Finish. We got no penalty as well, so that was a good time. And 22,000 for driving, what, Your mere meters. Oh, and I've dropped my controller. Lovely. Right, so where is the, uh, what is this up here? The race championship here. Classic Cup. Uh, that's three laps. And it says the vehicle restriction is C. So uh, I feel like maybe the crossover would be a good one to start with. And then we can move over to Classic. So yeah, let's go here. Right, here we go. On our way to the speed trap event. We are going the wrong way down the road, so the cops are after us again. Okay, here we go. Crossover. Let's do this. Uh, so this is a C level. We got aim for 123.02 miles an hour for 20,000 credits. But we are in our powerful Aston Martin, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. Uh, we have six speed cameras to deal with, and I don't know where they are, so... Looks like we're going this way, first of all. Right, so we're already above average for now. And that's brought us down a bit. Not ideal. Spinning out is not ideal at all. But um, I feel like this is going to be a very straight road from here on out. Oh, no, never mind. I'm wrong. Is that just 150 then? Okay, it's this corner that matters. Failed! Oh yeah, we got penalty, we went off the road. Ah, oh, that's crazy. That's crazy difficult. I feel like maybe we should have gone straight on. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like straight on was the way we should have gone. Yeah, let's just do it, see how it goes. So 
we're starting out at 125. Awesome. 137 for that one. Okay, a little bit slow there. Ah, spun out. Come on. It's on the further back one, isn't it? Yes. Come on, get the 20. I think we got gold. Hey, 131. Way above the time. So, yeah, we went the wrong way from the start there. But 20,000 credits and 5,000 points, that's decent. That is a decent reward for us. And uh, the next location is... Yes. So we've got the um, series marked on our marker now. Which is 1.2 miles away. Uh, but what I will do... Is I see a dealership in front of me, so I want to uh, unlock that so I can fast travel to it later, if needs be. I have a feeling this on TDU, this area would be a British one? Was it a British one? I don't know what it is. But it's unlocked now, so. Ta-da! Let's go. Cops are supposed to be looking for me. They're not doing anything. Okay, there they are. Here we go. Series is just in front of us. Are we going to lose the cops beforehand? Classic Cup 1. The restrictions was literally just C class. But there we go. C. Pro level, 26,000, 2.5 miles, 3 laps. Let's do this. Let's see how well this first race goes. Hopefully it goes alright. It is a classic cup though. Um, and everyone's in an Aston Martin. What? It's not very classic, is it? But off we go. Careful. This game as well um, runs with, no, oh, runs off of the analog X button as well. Uh, so it's like an analog acceleration input. It's not just on off, like Ridge Racer or stuff like that. I don't even know if Ridge Racer in this game was analog or not, because I haven't played it yet. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be getting Ridge Racer 5 for the PS2. Got to do that. Hey, we are flying. I really want Ridge Racer A. Genuinely, they could make s and do so much with this new PS5 that Ridge Racer 8 would sell like crazy. It would sell big time. TDU with ray tracing as well. That's going to look stunning. Because it was already a stunning game without ray tracing. They got the reflections just right. And now they've got the power of ray tracing to um, perfect it. But um, what ray tracing is doing is sort of like perfecting games that you couldn't get lighting right for uh, so it's making the bad looking games look good or what would be from developers where their games would look meh now we're gonna look amazing 
and it's a really useful tool. They are going to look stunning. This is awesome now. Go, go, go. Uh, On to the brakes. Brakes. Nice. This has gone really well so far. Quite a quick race, actually. We're about to hit the uh, 300,000 points mark already. At the start of this recording session, I was at uh, 240,000, I think. Or 230. So we've gone and flown up in points-wise. We've done 136 miles in this uh, Aston Martin as well. I need to find out how much I've driven in total. I think you can look in uh, statistics in the home. We'll do that when we next buy the house. Oh, not great. Let's get our speed back, get back on the road. But yeah, we are going to have to, uh, with our money, buy ourselves a new house. Um, but I am thinking towards the north of the map, so I will do a road trip towards a uh, house vendor towards the north. And see whether we can get one there. Because that way we've got um, sort of ourselves spread across the map a little bit better. Because a lot of the professional events start up at the north. So uh, when we get to the higher up, we'll have uh, ground room up there. But here we go. Here's the finish line. Four minutes. Classic Cup 2 has been unlocked. Four minutes, 4.656. Awesome. And that is 26,000 credits to go towards the house. That is good. Right, next race. Three miles for three laps. 27,500 per lap. Let's go. Come on. Load. Thank you. Right, let's do this. Off we go. The fact as well that these cups, you have to sort of like win the race before you can move on. I think that's a better format than if they did it. Um, you have to get a certain amount of points to move on. Or like you have to do all the races and then if you lose, you don't get anything. That can be a little frustrating. So this sort of format is sort of a little less insulting if you lose it's just you got to do the race again that's it awesome this car is quick though You can see all the different variety of um, like location as well, because the map is changing like dramatically throughout. There are so many different areas, but the areas are large enough that you um, don't question it either. There are smooth transitions between areas that are smooth enough that it's decent, but also it's just awesome. Not good. I think we did that on the first lap as well. We went wide and started sliding on that corner. That's perfect. Checkpoint. I, I did... Um, 
actually try and play this on my PSP emulator that I'm using for the Gran Turismo PSP series at the moment. And, well, it's not a series, it's just me doing some cool races and putting some cool music over it. But, um, it's those, those races, um, Gran Turismo PSP runs very smooth, 60 FPS, no problem. Um, but unfortunately, Test Drive wouldn't run smooth any more than, like, 5 frames a second. Um, which is a bit shocking. But the fact that, obviously, it is an emulator, so certain games are going to work well, and certain games are going to look trash. And unfortunately, Test Drive was one of those games that looked trash um, on the emulator, which is annoying, because I would have loved to have been able to, like, portably play this game, but we can't. But I've still got Gran Turismo PSP, and that's a very good game to play while I'm out and about without having to spend like loads of money on a PSP because they're really expensive now. Like I was looking for one before I found out there was a free emulator. Um, about 120 quid. More expensive than my PS2. Yeah, very expensive. Uh, we did take that corner earlier that we kept spinning out um, without spinning out this time. So that was a good lap, a good one. We are going quick. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Nice. going really well. I think this is the second race, isn't it? Yeah. So um, we've got probably one or two more races. Might be three. Because um, sometimes they do five race cups as well. I think there was one that was ten races as well. It was a big one. Like that. Four minutes, 28.793. That was a decent time. I'm going to go straight to the next one. No need to wait, just get straight into it. 3.1 miles, 3 laps, pro level, 28,000 credits. Let's do this. We can uh, go a higher level, and I think that gives you... What's 28 times 2? 56, 57,000 that would have given us, but yeah, that's a bit too high. Go, go, go. Come on. We can do this. Meow. Hold, oh, slow down. Come on. Nice. Come on, we can do this. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn right, left. Slow down, slow down. Nice. Perfect. That was a very good um, first lap so far. Got a couple more checkpoints to go. How are the traffic lights still on? They should be off. I have just realized how big this race is, this lap. Uh, we're doing three of them and it's taken us two minutes to do one. 
should definitely be a good finale lap for or finale race for the uh, cup thing. Classic cup. Just to how long it is. Exactly two minutes, pretty much. Two minutes, 0.738 seconds. Oh, slow down. Come on. Don't want to overshoot those corners at all. Not at all. Perfect. Here we go. We're doing really well here. This is crazy. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. And obviously we are aiming for 100% or 100% participation, so taking part in every single event in the game. So hopefully we can do that. It'd be really good. was good and that was really good as well awesome okay so that lap was uh um, much much quicker we're still looking at a, a six minute finish time nice impressive oh no hit a couple of traffic lights there The uh, second place car caught up a little bit, but uh, not enough for us to worry. Nice. This is really good. This car is quick. I love Aston Martins. Turn left. They're quite big and heavy cars though, Aston Martins. They're powerful but heavy. They're like mid-range in weight, in terms of weight. I don't even think Aston Martin quite gets into supercar range either. I think Aston Martin is still in the uh, sports car range. Definitely very luxury sports car, but not quite supercar. Oh, we've won a Chevrolet Corvette C1 1957. That is awesome. And we are now going to go and buy ourselves a brand new house towards the north. So I'll see you when we get there. Right, so I've gone with the uh, decision of not going towards the north of the map. Uh, and the reason for that, we will do later. But the reason for that is there is a house here. Hopefully here. Because this is the closest estate agents to it. For... Eight cars for 309,000. That's not actually the house that I was looking for. But that is still a very 
decent eight car garage. So I would just buy that straight away. Buy house. That is decent. I wasn't expecting even cheaper than that. The one I found was like the tour of something or something. Oh, that is a nice house. That's a very good house. And that's an eight car garage as well. Is being recalculated. And we are here. Look at that. We are here at the house. We're going to have a little look around quickly. Because you can't actually see what the house looks like. Um, but you can't sort of like explore it. Right, so we've received our cars. Uh, new car has been delivered. Yes, please. Thank you. Right, let's have a look at our messages. So we've been invited to race at Club Italia. Okay, six shooters. Yeah, we've done most of these, I think, already. Uh, that is a car club, but with fancy writing. Uh, another car club with fancy writing. It's quite a lot of clubs, actually. Uh, so that is a reward car. Yeah, I think uh, those are free vehicle upgrades. I think we've got uh, three available. Uh, let's have a look at statistics. This is what I wanted to check. So we've gotten 49 golds and two bronzes. Uh, we own 10 cars, three houses, four times we've been arrested. Uh, does it not say distance driven? It shows the uh, times for... Oh my gosh. We've barely done any... There are so many more challenges. 20% complete. Okay. Wow. Right, let's have a look at the uh, garage and see what it's like in there. Oh, this is a fancy garage. I think they um, enhanced this garage for um, TDU2. Because this garage is actually in TDU2. But we've got our cars now. We've got space for more. So let's go and drive outside our house. A very nice luxury new Your house. Is being recalculated. Here we go. Um, we've even got a long driveway. Oh, hang on. There's an event here called the Hook. Ah, let's let's go straight into it then. Uh, so this is Pro Vehicle Restriction C, 2.6 miles. 1 minute 32 we're aiming for. That is decent though. An event right outside of our house. Okay. 11 checkpoints. Let's go. Oh, careful. Perfect. Get back into the swing of racing. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. If that was like Gran Turismo, you would have lost control. You wouldn't be controlling the car for the next week. And if it was Forza, guaranteed wreck of your vehicle would not exist. That's good, that's good. Right. Awesome. Where's the finish line? It's got to be coming up soon. Right, finish line is the next one after this. 0 0.4 miles away. And there we go. Gold medal. We're like six seconds faster. 31,000 credits. Awesome. We've got loads of money still left over because we bought a cheap house. So, Oh, and two levels. 
two star cop level. Uh oh. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.